Hey there, now that 2018 is coming to a close, I've got a question for you. Have you prepared your success roadmap for 2019? Have you prepared your success roadmap for 2019? And if you haven't, oh my gosh, are you going to enjoy this video? Hey, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com, and welcome to this week's video. And it's about planning your, your roadmap to success for 2019. Now, perhaps you've got an income goal of, let's say, 150,000. Well, how many deals do you have to do? How many listing appointments? Well, what's your gross? What's your net? What's your overhead? Well, if you don't know how to answer those questions, how are you going to know how to hit your goal? Well, at the end of this video, I'll share with you a link that you can use to download your success roadmap. And in the corresponding article, the link will be there as well. Download that roadmap and then follow along in this tutorial and I'll walk you through exactly how to use it. Once again, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. I know you're going to enjoy this and more importantly, it will help get you from here at the end of 2018 to to reach your income goals for 2019. So in your success training system guide, you want to turn to the page that is the critical rate of sales worksheet. Okay, hopefully you've got that open in front of you. The critical rate of sales worksheet is a simple way for you to find out what your fixed costs are, your variable costs, and how much money you net per transaction that you do, whether it's a listing or a buyer. And then how many transaction sides you need in a given year to reach your income goals. So let's walk through this one pager real quickly. So at the top, you can see that you put in your income goal for the year and then figure out what that is per month. And then you go to step one. You want to calculate your total fixed overhead per month. So what you want to do is enter in the amount of money that you want to net, plus what your expenses are that you have to pay, like your office rent, utilities, phone, MLS, et cetera, et cetera. If these are annual, then you can easily break that down into a monthly basis. All of these numbers in the blank spaces are based on monthly rates. Then what you do is you total up your overhead per month, which includes, again, your fixed expenses or your operating expenses and how much money you want to net. So in this example, in order to make 100000 a year, you'd have to make $8,400 a month. And if you have 4000 in overhead every month, and that could be higher or lower depending on you know what your expenses are, that means that your fixed overhead for this month would be 12400 It's what you want to net plus your expenses. So that's step one. Step two, you want to calculate your net profit per transaction. And this will get you what's called a contribution margin. How much of each commission that you get will go towards paying for your fixed overhead. So you can see there's a blank, fill in the blanks. What is your average gross commission? Take the average price of a home that you sell and multiply it by the average percentage of commission. So in this example, we're using a $6,000 commission. Then you wanna subtract any variable costs that you have. For if you pay a split to a broker, any marketing costs that you incur to sell the property. And if you're working with a buyer, are there any expenses or costs incurred with working with a buyer to help him buy a property? What you have left is a total contribution margin. So you take the gross commission, you subtract your variable cost, and then you get your total contribution margin. In this example, it's $6,000 minus $2,000 for variable costs, that gets me $4,000 net for each commission that I make. Remember, this is an average. So in the third step, you're going to use these two numbers from the first two steps. Step number three, you want to calculate the number of transaction sides to meet your earnings target. And it, that's just a simple calculation. Just take step one and divide it by step two. So you take your total fixed overhead, divide that by your contribution margin. So $12,400 divided by 4,000, and you'll get the total sides that you need to reach, which is 3.1 or roughly three deals per month, which is roughly 36 to 37 deals per year, based on this example of wanting to get $100,000 per year. So you'll want to fill out the form for yourself, and then you'll move on to the last part of the success targeting system, which is identifying which of the categories of systems that you want to use to reach your income goals or targets. 
On the last page of your success targeting system is what we call the personal money map. Now, this is a way for you to identify, based on your income goals and targets, which markets you should select in which system categories that you should focus on in the three steps ultimate system. So at the top, you want to put in your net income goal for this year, the number of transactions that you hope to do each year and each month based on the critical rate of sales worksheet that we just talked about. Then you're going to calculate the number of leads that you need to meet your goal. So as an example, if your income goal was $100,000 per year, like we just calculated, and depending on the type of home that you sell, you probably need roughly 36 closed sides per year, or uh, again, an average of about three per month. Now to calculate the number of leads, we're going to use an average of 20. And it really depends on the quality of the lead that you get and how good you are at actually taking that lead and converting them. So for example, if I'm getting a lead from somebody that already knows, likes, and trusts me, a referral, I'll need less than that 20 target. In our step two systems, where we're leveraging the opportunities that we already have, for example, our buyers and our current sellers, then again, I'll probably need less than 20 because those leads are coming from a reliable source. And step one type leads that we've generated from our marketing efforts, basically cold traffic that we don't know that's responding to postcards and the different systems that we use, that'll be a lower quality lead and more likely closer to this 20 target that we're using. So using our target of $100,000 net to achieve that, we've already calculated that we have to average out about three closed transactions per month. And we've also given an estimate here that it will take 20 leads per closed transaction. So if you take three per month, multiply by 20, you're looking at 60 leads. You have to generate 60 leads per month or an average of two leads per day. Now let's talk about that for a minute. How are you going to generate that many leads. What you want to do is select from different target markets. Now your best market will always be your power list. Those are your friends, family, past clients, people that know, like, and trust you. And that's where your referral leads are going to come from, at least the highest caliber of leads that you're going to get. Now, usually the bigger the contact list, the more referrals you'll get. But we've seen agents that have lists anywhere from 100 to 200 members on their power list, and they're averaging 20 to 30 referrals a year. So it really depends on the relationship, the quality of that list, and the relationship you have with them. And that's where step three comes in, the relation marketing building systems. They build the quality of your relationship, and they also help you build the size of your power list. Then the third target market or broad category would be new leads. And there could be subcategories to this, for example, for sale by owners, expireds, strategic farm area. You want to write down how many ads that you want to do and the number of promotions to the different target markets and the number of mailings to strategic farm areas. The number five, here is a very easy way to do a marketing plan for the year. You just list out where you plan to get business based on the three-step system. So we've put the categories all 131 marketing systems that are available to you. And we've broken them down into three categories, step one, step two, and step three systems. But then below that are subcategories to either generate brand new leads, people that you don't know yet from step one. Step two is about generating transactional leads. And step three is all about generating referral leads. So the second half of this personal money map is just a marketing plan that you can use to go through the systems on the member's website. And just make a note of which ones you'll want to use and project how many transactions you'd like to do over the course of the year with those systems. Then at the bottom, if you want to make a personal commitment to yourself, you can sign it and date it and then pull this document up every month and definitely at the end of 12 months to see if you're on track or if not, how far off track you are so you can make corrections.